Thank you for tuning in with Juan Sara Diagnostics. Today we have this um, 2012 Honda Civic. It has a misfire on cylinder number three. And the interesting thing is it's natural gas. So it would be a little bit different, but it would be the same concept. And I'm turn this on. Put this up for you guys. You can see the number three just climbing non stop. So, with that being said, we're going to start. Uh, we're going to start uh, checking parts and ground, which is easier. Uh, I like to do the just in case. So we're going to check uh, Paris ground. I'm going to compare this one with this one and go from there. Let me put you guys right here. Okay, that should be fine. So, let me go get uh, my toolbox and I'll be back. So now that I have my toolbox with me, I'm going to do this key on, engine off, okay, let me double check, make sure. Okay, the key is on, engine off, I am, you guys are able to see, I am on battery positive, so, I don't have a wire diagram to go off right now. Okay, so black is our ground, which is the middle one, which we have on both. I don't know how well you guys can see that. So, let me put this in. Be careful to not spray the terminals. Okay, now this should be current, which we do have. Again, don't spread the terminals. We do have. So, what we're going to do, we're going to try to back probe this. Young Connect that there, connect this, turn the vehicle on, grab the scanner. I don't know the strategy of this vehicle. Some cars they will shut off the coils and the injectors or they would just shut off the injector or neither. The way that I cannot test it with a test light, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a scope, make a scope, and go from there. So right now we have green with channel A to, uh, to our scope. So I'm going to put this little bit down let me lower this guy that should be fine we're at 
200 milliseconds we do have a uh, trigger on we did raise the codes just in case if there's a, the, the vehicle is noticing a misfire and it's shutting it off you could catch it we go back to cylinders misfires all right cool so let's start the vehicle So we look back. We do have oscillation. I'm gonna wait for that to happen. You see, I'm in number three. So. Our next step is check injection. Kinda wanna do a secondary, I'm gonna still save this. So I could check at home. Okay, what are we gonna do now? Key on. You wanna check, uh, I'm gonna ride the thing takes power. Uh, And yeah, cool. Go to the other side. That was battery positive. Okay, we do have ground on this side, and then we have ground on that side. So this should be current. So what we're going to do is back probe it and uh, monitor that circuit. So our final order for this uh, 1.8 is 1342. As you guys can see, I am synced to number one. Uh, Interiors are unplugged. That's number one. That's number one. You can see. That's just shorter than that one, I guess. And it's repeatable too. That's shorter compared to the rest. Let me go back one more page. Well, I don't have nothing on this page or this page. So uh, you can barely tell right there. That's that hump is shorter. That hump is shorter. That hump is shorter. That one's shorter. And I think even that one's shorter. So unfortunately, you're gonna have to do a uh, a test. As you can see, here is. Uh, Here's our injector test that we did. Here are our spark test. Uh, but let's save this. I'm gonna modify my uh, my files later on. For the meantime, I'm just doing this just to uh, save time. So. I'm going to start removing these so I could be able to uh, give the customer a little bit more clarification of what's going on and go from there. So thanks to my new 5 volt ref uh, box, shout out to Jarhead Diagnostics, um, I have my ATS 
wave pressure transducer uh, connected to uh, the known good I have one of the Chinese ones trust me don't waste your money um, then we'll go back here's our known good so we're gonna save this It takes, a, it takes a minute. I don't know why. Did that happen? So I'm saving that. I will make sure you click on save. Are you saving? Yeah, I saved the file. So we're going to plug this. And then we're going to switch them out and see what what we find so on that honda uh cylinder number three was about 20 pounds lower than the rest let me see if i could go here i think i did a post a question on the facebook uh, group if i have it i'll be able to um, bring a little bit more clarification okay here is uh, the post so cylinder number two had 122 uh, uh, psi and number three which was our corporate was 107 psi I ended up asking for help because uh, I wasn't quite familiar with in-cylinder uh, analysis. You can see, I think, yeah, our bad one was producing 1.36 volts and our good one was producing 1.55 uh, vote. So on this vehicle, I ended up uh, informing the customer that there was a possibility that uh, there was a problem with the valves. I mean, Hondas are known for uh, valve lash, so that was one of the possibilities. Uh, customer decided to uh, ended up uh, taking the vehicle to the auction. I have somebody else worry about it, which I don't blame them because more time into it will become more money. So, I mean, kind of worth it for each other. I mean, I hope, I wish I could have uh, got into it a little bit more just to get more out of it, like knowledge-wise. But sometimes that's how it happens. Thank you guys for watching.